Hello. In this edition of our drum machine tutorial, we're actually not going to be using a drum machine at all. We're going to be using our Zebra CM plugin to create both a kick drum and a snare drum sound. So if you don't have a copy already, get hold of a copy of the Zebra CM plugin and let's get cracking. Begin by loading your door and put an instance of the Zebra CM plugin in play. We'll want to do an initialize, which we do by going to the menu browser, which is at the top here, and we come down to init, which is written at the bottom, and we click on that to initialize the plugin. Having done that, we strongly advise that you go down to the master pot, which is at the bottom, and reduce that to the 12 o'clock mark, which should read 50 at the top, as you can see on screen. It's worth mentioning at this stage that any time you alter the value of a pot on the plugin, its value will be indicated at the top in the readout, which also doubles as a drop-down menu. We're not going to be using either of the oscillators for our kick sound, so go to oscillator number one and turn the volume down to zero. Now move across to the noise section and turn the volume of that section up to a value of 100. Creating this particular kick sound is all about the filter. So now move to the filter section and select from the drop down the filter type, which is a low pass variety called all round. We now need to change the cutoff value to a value of 30. The main audible element for our kick is going to be coming from the filter itself and the resonance, so make sure that the resonance has been turned all the way up to its maximum, which should read 100 in the upper display. We're also going to be modulating the point of cutoff, and we do this using the user assigned pot, which is located directly below the resonance control. You can see it says envelope 2 written underneath it. Click and hold on envelope 2 and set that to a value of 48. Now we need to make some adjustments to envelope 2. So we do this by changing our attack pot to a value of 0, our decay pot to a value of 30, we set our sustain pot to a value of 0, and our release pot to a value of 25. We need to make some similar settings to envelope number 1, so once again we're going to change attack to 0, our decay pot to 38, our sustain pot to a value of 80, and finally the release pot to a value of 25. This should now mean that we have a very heavy filter modulated sound, which sounds like a kick drum. And of course, one of the things we can do is we can alter the decay phase on envelope two so that we get more of the effect that we want. It is quite a techno sound, but it's pretty cool. Now let's move on to a snare sound, and we're going to set up a different track with a new version of the Zebra CM on it. Electronic snare sounds typically consist of two components. They have a tuned component and they have a noise component. So let's begin by initializing our sound. Let's go to the menu at the top and select initialize. Once again, go to the master pot, which is bottom right hand side and change that to a 12 o'clock position, which should read 50 in the upper display. We're going to be using oscillator number one on this particular sound, and this is going to be for our tuned element. However, at the moment we have a sawtooth. <laughs> What we really need is something a bit more pure. So change the upper display value to a value of three, which should be a triangle. Because we want that sound in play, we're going to leave the volume where it is at a value of 100. Now move across to the noise section and turn the noise up to a value of 120. Let's move right next door to the filter section and we're going to use a high pass filter for this particular sound. We're going to use the high pass 12 dB filter. We should now be hearing something like this. It doesn't sound much like a snare yet, but it will do shortly. Now go to the cutoff control and set that to a value of 57. Much like our kick sound, we want to use envelope 2 to modulate the filter a little bit. However, on this occasion, we're going to be using a negative value because it's a high pass filter. So change that value by going to the left hand side with the pot to a value of minus 118. Let's now move to the all important envelope section We'll begin with envelope number one, which is providing the values for our amplitude control. We want to set the attack phase to zero. We want to set decay to a value of 35, sustain to a value of zero, and finally release to a value of 30. Envelope two is modulating in the direction of the filter cutoff. So the values we want here are attack zero, decay 22, sustain zero, and finally the release phase, 20. This should now mean that we have a sound like this. And you can hear the tuned element there behind the white noise element. It does mean that as you move up and down the keyboard, you can effectively choose the pitch that you might like for your track and put it in the key of your track. 